Thank you very much, Dick. Bobby Wilkerson jumps center for Indiana. He's a backcourt man going against Phil Hubbard, the freshman of 6'7". And Wilkerson controls the tip to Kent Benson. Indiana's in white, Michigan's in the dark. Indiana plays a half-court offense, and they play it tight. They try and move inside the foul, so it will operate from there. Watch out close, they'll try and move to the basket in their patterns. They don't spread out much. They want to get their big men inside. There's Scott May. Up he goes. He's got the big Indiana ahead. 2 nothing. A foul was called and the basket is allowed, Kurt. Apparently someone away from the ball using a forearm. That's what it was. And since no one raises the hands, that makes it tough on all of us. We'll get the official word in a moment. All right, Michigan. Bobby Wilkerson committed a foul. Wide open is Ricky Green. On a great feed into him. Ricky Green, the fastest player in his court, sneaked in underneath. It's two all. Bobby Wilkerson. Brody's on him. Ricky Green's on Buckner. Wayman Britt's trying to cover Scott May. He covered Phil Sellers on Saturday. The All-American Rutgers had stopped him. May with Wayman Britt right on him. Now Wilkerson looking inside. Matt Abernathy's covering Johnny Robinson. They're matched up against each other. Game tied to all. Wilkerson to Benson. Turn around. Up on the board. Johnny Robinson cleared it. Steve Brody. Powerful guard. Weighs uh, around 200. All five starters of Indiana are over 200 pounds. Michigan inside to Grody. They're taking their guards inside, Kurt, and it's worked twice, once for a hoop. Buckner turned his back that time. Buckner feeding Wilkerson. Jump shot. And again, Robinson on the rebound. There it is to Ricky Green. He's wide open. And it is goaltending. Goaltending called up Bobby Wilkerson. Boy, there's one of the biggest guards in college basketball, Wilkerson. He's 6'7", a guard. Watch how high he goes. Robinson, his second rebound. He spots the open man down court. Good pass to Green. Green open. Look at Wilkerson. Way up there for the goaltend. Abernathy back at the free throw line. Drops it in for all. Tom Abernathy with a soft shot. Slight backspin. They'll feather in for you if you lay them up like that off the rim. Michigan going to their attack now against the tenacious man-to-man -man of Indiana. Taken away by Quinn Buckner. That's how they'll pressure. They'll drop from the side, from the front. It's a man-to-man, -man, but they help each other. Combination zone, too. Michigan in the zone now. And they figure that Bobby Knight thought he might see it. There's a foul on number 32, Wayman Britt. That's the first foul on Michigan. Kurt, uh, Ricky Green going to the sidelines, went for the rosin. They had a little trouble with the slippery balls on Saturday, and Green apparently, I think it's more sweaty palm. That's right. Because it's tournament time. All right. Abernathy coming off the screen, trying to feed off the Buckner. It is off. Hubbard's hands, it'll be Indiana's ball in. Game tied, 4 all. It's about three minutes gone. Scott May will play it in. Gets it in to Kent Benson. Benson to Abernathy. Very smartly, he was too far under, came out with it. May, these fellas, it's stolen by Grody. Here's a two on one. Grody to the trailer. Wayman Britt, good play. The trailer is always open, coming down behind on a fast break. And they laid it off for him. Uh-oh, problem. There's an injured Hoosier. And that could be a very serious loss. It is Bobby Wilkerson who is down for the Hoosiers on that three-on-two break for Michigan. And, of course, so many players today absorbing the charge, trying to get the foul. And it's amazing more aren't injured. And it appears as if he might have hit his head on the floor. It looks like uh, he's dazed. Trainer attending him, Bobby Knight. You can just see his legs in the background, the coach. Having some words with one of the officials, Bob Ortman. Now, uh, Knight in the plaid jacket, leaning down. The man injured, Wilkerson Dick, grabbed 19 rebounds against UCLA Saturday. Well, and Bobby Knight calls him his most versatile defensive player. He can guard against a guard, a forward, or a center. We have a timeout. 17-17 remaining in the first half. Michigan leads Indiana 6-4 as we go back to our studios.
And as soon as we get a definite report on Bobby Wilkinson, we'll have it for you. Indiana with the ball, moving into their own forecourt. They're trailing by two. Ricky Green on Buckner. Abernathy to Scott May. Here's Abernathy. Now Buckner. Buckner, two men on him, and it's stolen again. Here's Ricky Green, the swiftest player in the country, perhaps. The Groat. Grody misses. Raymond Britt follows, and Michigan's ahead 8-4. to four. That's the swiftness, the quickness of this Michigan team. Indiana slowed him down twice in previous meetings. Had difficult games, but beat him, one in overtime. But they can't get into a running match with Indy with Michigan. Buckner up with his jumper. He's short with it. Raymond Britt has it for the Wolverines. They're out playing Indiana right now. Look at that green come back for the ball. Oh, he's... The Iowa coach said he is the quickest player in America, and I would have to believe that. What Indiana will try and do is keep him from penetrating down the middle. The shot by Johnny Robinson, 10 to 4. Michigan ahead. And it has to be a concerned Indiana bench right now. They have lost one of their starters with an injury, and Michigan right now is out playing them. Benson, this is what he'll have to do. He goes in there and uses all 245 pounds of it. He has a mind of his own and 245 pounds to back it up on the court. King Kong isn't going to stop him on that move. No, sir. 10 to 6, Michigan in the lead. Bill Hubbard, the freshman, on a high post. The Wayman Britt trying to drive. Scott May couldn't get it. Michigan will really have trouble going down that middle tonight. Indiana plugs it up when they sink and sag. And they'll try and force Ricky Green to pass from the side instead of from out in front. There's a foul on Tom Abernathy, number 33, reaching over the shoulder of Bill Hubbard. Kurt, an interesting aspect of this Michigan team is they're all championship players. Four out of the five Michigan starters played on high school state champions in Illinois, in uh, Michigan, and in Ohio. That pass was deflected. Looking down here from the rafters in the spectrum are elevated shots. Scott May's shot won't go down. Rookie Green starts to break. Look at him go. And he took too many steps. Traveling on Rookie Green. Here's the speed of Ricky Green. The shot missed by Indiana. Green trying to go up for the shot. Took that little extra step. And you've got to credit the defense of the All-American Scott May. No basket. All right. Coming down is Indiana. They're behind 10 to 6. I know one thing they won't lose. They may lose the game, but they'll never lose their poise. John Robinson. Benson, the basket. No good. And Johnny Robinson fouled him. Team fouls now. That is uh, two on Michigan. And we have two on Indiana. Pass into Wayne Radford. May. Closely checked by Brett. There's a shot by Abernathy. And he has it. He had a marvelous game against UCLA. Made seven of eight. He's uh, the kind of kid you don't notice, but just wins games for you. And in 74, he hit seven out of seven in the game against South Carolina. Wayman Britt lost the ball out. Somehow, they're going into the back door of the weak side and getting open against Indiana. You very rarely see that. All right, Indiana down now, trailing by two. Ten to eight, Michigan. Wolverines back in his own. Tucker leaves his man. May outside. There's Buckner. And Buckner throws it away in his zone. And a zone, a secret of any zone, is to slide and move very quickly. That's what Michigan's doing. And keep the hands up, and that Grody was like a windmill in the face of the Hoosiers. Here's Grody coming down, Steve Grody. Grody. Wayman Britt, May on him. Will Hubbard, the freshman, beating Grody. Shot blocked by Buckner. Up with it is Wayne Radford. Indiana back again. Indiana's beat their opponents by a spread of 17 all year. There's a shot by Abernathy. Rebounded. Here's the fast break. Ricky Green in for the solo all by himself. As Billy Packer pointed out, Johnny Orr knows that the Hoosiers send five men to the boards. Ricky Green released and got the easy solo. Six minutes gone, and Michigan is leading Indiana 12 to 8. Kent Benson. He has the freshman on him. Buckner drives and hits the layup. Quinn Buckner, who has been one of the outstanding athletes in Indiana history, starter on the football team his first two years, and a four-year starter on the basketball team. That's Hubbard. 
Every shot good. The freshman bangs it home, and the score is 14 to 10. Michigan leading. 13:20 to go in the first half. Quinn Buckner, Kent Benson, Buckner. There he is. Blew the layup. Bill Hubbard cleared the board. Down to rookie Green. Can't let him penetrate. Brett to Brody. Brody trying a baseline drive against Radford. Now Brett's outside. There's Green. They forced him to the outside. Johnny Robinson. Ken Benson covering him, but not coming out too far. Michigan moving the ball against the man-to-man. -man. Ricky Green. They took the middle away from him. Brit fires. He hit. 16 to 10, University of Michigan. And we have 12 and a half minutes to play in the first half. Quinn Bucker. Benson. Turnaround jumper. Up on the board, that freshman, Phil Hubbard. He's 6'7", and he can really get up there. The pass off to Grody for his jumper. He hits it. 18 to 10, Michigan. Michigan is red hot, and Bobby Knight wants timeout. 12 minutes remaining in the first half in Philadelphia. The underdog, Mays and Blue of Michigan, lead unbeaten Indiana by eight. Included in the entertaining look at baseball will be appearances by Nipsey, Russell, Connie Stevens, along with your host, Mr. Garagiola. 2.30 next Saturday Eastern Time. All right, Jim Cruz, number 45, is reported in. Replacing Radford to pass to win the Benson. That was a very clever pass in by Quinn Buckner. 18 to 12. Michigan, by the way, is at 75% of their shots. 9 out of 12. Indiana's at 45 percent. The steal by Scott May, and back comes Indiana. He saw that backdoor play coming and kind of hid behind the big players and darted out to intercept. Michigan has out rebounded Indiana, eight to two. Abernathy inside position. There's a foul on Hubbard. We're going to show you the basket before the one you've just seen. This took a perfect pass. Good defense. There's Hubbard right in front of Benson. The pass just tall enough, and Benson right there to hammer it home. Tom Abernathy going to the line. He was fouled by Phil Hubbard. Abernathy playing with a sore knee tonight, a senior from St. Joseph High, South Bend, Indiana. He's hit 74% of his free throws this year. And the score now is 18-15. That's five in a row for the Hoosiers. All right. On a little blitz. Michigan in the lead. Hubbard leaves the post. He can handle the ball out in front. He's going to be a superstar. Just a freshman. Ricky Green. They set up. Hubbard on the high post. He's giving away 50 pounds to Kent Benson tonight. Hubbard weighs 195. Benson 245. Baseline drive. The shot is missed by Wayman Britt, and Buckner has it for Indiana. Well, Indiana University comes down with Jim Cruz in possession. The shot by Scott May, and Indiana trailing 18 to 17. Now Indiana's getting hot. They have streaked off seven points in a row. Ricky Green, he's the quarterback of the team. There's Brody. Inside it goes. Johnny Robinson lost the ball out of bounds. He was claiming he was pushed, but no. Johnny Orr, the Michigan coach up. But come on, settle down. Named by his colleagues, the Basketball Coaches Association as the coach of the year. Quite an honor. Indiana's ball. They're going to keep trying to work a defenseman inside and get Hubbard in foul trouble. They're not a great outside city team. Mays good from about any place. He can go out to 25 feet. That's him with the ball. There's Kent Benson. Up he goes. And Indiana's in the lead, 19 to 18. Six points for Kent Benson. Well, they were trailing 18 to 10. They have ripped off nine in a row. And the report we get on Bobby Wilkinson, he has a head or neck injury. He's going to be taken to the hospital for x-ray. Pass off. Bill Hubbard hooks it in. 20 to 19, Michigan back out in front. Indiana's ball. Time, 9.35 to go in the first half. The Wolverines ahead of the Hoosiers by one. 
Cockney coming out to meet the pass. Benson, hook shot. No, he passes underneath. The basket is no good. Scott May, three second rule. May was in the lane. Can't be in that lane over three seconds. There's May camped in the lane underneath. What a feed though by Benson. Wasn't it pretty? All right, it is Michigan ball, Ricky Green. Michigan ahead, 20 to 19. Green, leading scorer in his team. Won't go down for him, and Jim Cruz grabbed the rebound. Scott May, don't let him open. Bang! 21-20. May has six points. And Michigan has called timeout. And with a timeout, our score is Indiana 21 and Michigan 20. Simpson and Maury Wills. First game comes up a week from Saturday, 2 o'clock Eastern time. Michigan with the ball. They're in the dark suits to just join us, Indiana and White. And Indiana's ahead 21-20. Quinn Bucker out here steals it. Steal for Indiana. They have the ball now. They've come back. Scott May to Jim Cruz. Ken Benson trying to back in. Whips it to Butker underneath, and he hits it. Give the assist to the center, Kent Benson. 23-20, Indiana. That's their biggest lead, Kurt. Three points. They're now shooting 60%. Michigan shooting 67. That's not bad for a time to It's been championship caliber play. Oh, our time is 8-11 to go in the first half. Game has been played at a furious pace, marred by the injury to Bobby Wilkerson. A shot by Grody to make it 23-22, Indiana. And now a later report, Bob Wilkerson, they've decided to leave him in the dressing room. He has a slight concussion, and they're keeping him in the Indiana dressing room for observation. Kent Benson, a short jumper. Ricky Green up for the ball. Down he comes. Look at him go. Look at him move. Off he goes. With Robinson. Off balance shot, but oh. good. That was a circus shot by Johnny Robinson. Now the lead seesawing back and forth. Michigan ahead, 24-23. Benson. Quinn Buckner, right down the key, blew the layup. Watch Ricky Green's speed. He could just take off like he has a jet attached to him. He runs away from everybody. I haven't seen a quicker player all year. He's a junior college transfer. Played on the Illinois State Championship team, the first high in Chicago with his teammate, Johnny Robinson. And they're both at Michigan now together. Added word on Bob Wilkerson, Kurt. He is now on his feet. He is answering questions coherently. He may not be able to play tonight, but he's okay, and that's good news. That's what's important. 24-23, Michigan leading Indiana. National Championship game. Benson, a turnaround jumper. 25-24, Indiana, Kent Benson. The All-American Junior Center has eight points on four baskets. Michigan right back. Bobby Knight predicted three weeks ago that Michigan would be in the final four. He says it's the best team Indiana's played this year. That shot is good by Phil Hubbard. And we had a foul. I believe on Hubbard, he charged after the ball had re been released. Boy, what a move for a freshman. He's going to be a super player, as you indicated, Kurt. He's got three big years left at Ann Arbor. Fourth team foul on uh, Michigan, and the foul on Hubbard, the second on him. Benson, Quinn Buckner, Scott May. Up for the ball, Wayman Britt on the swipe. Britt beating Ricky Green. Scott May blocked it. And there is a charging on Ricky Green. What a, what a block by Scott May, though. Johnny Orr didn't like this call. Let's see how... It plays on the second look. Here comes Green inside. Here the defensive player had perfect position on him. Good block by May. That's why everyone's so high on him. He's a complete player at both ends of the court. Johnny Orr, his eighth year at Michigan, their all-time winning coach now, 48 years old. His four daughters are here at the Spectrum tonight. His wife watching him try and win the national title. Scott May. May out to Jim Cruz. He started as a freshman in 73 against UCLA in the semifinals. Oh, 
Michigan's on him. Yeah, Grody, Grody bumped him and bumped him and bumped him, and he was, it was a matter of how far the officials were going to let the body checking go, and uh, Grody got him one time too many. 26-25, Michigan ahead. The fifth team foul, sixth on Michigan now, and the next foul on Michigan, Indiana will be in the bonus situation. Johnny saying undoubtedly, hey, they're physical too. Let's hear the whistles at both ends. <laughs> He's calmed down considerably in the last four or five years. Jim Cruz. They're playing him belly to belly. Michigan right out there on him, man to man right now. Look at Grody Crowdy. Inside it goes to May. He hits. Indiana back out in front, 27-26. May has eight points. May did not have a good game Saturday against UCLA, scoring-wise, but he's hitting today. Grody, All-American football player in high school in Ohio. Lob pass to Tripp. Got away from Scott May. The basket counts, and the fouls on Scott May. May let him drift away from him, turned his back. And uh, Britt, knowing more as of a defensive player than a scorer, he's averaged 10 points a game, but he's got the touch tonight. And Bobby Knight, with his record at Army, you know he was a head coach with the cadets at the age of 24. He already has well over 200 wins. He has to be the youngest coach ever in major college ranks to win 200 so quickly. He started as a head coach at the age of 24 at West Point. Wayman Brett shooting. Michigan now leading 29 to 27. They steal Grody. Up they go on the board. Look at him jump. Up again, Ricky Green. That's really hustling up there in your offensive board. That's what they did, Indiana at Bloomington. They got three like that in about 10 seconds, Kurt, and it really turned the game around in the first half. 31-27, Michigan. Tom Abernathy drives by Robinson. Shot won't go for him. Uh, Look at that, Grody. Grody's all over the court. Bobby Knight teaches his players to dive for those loose balls. Tonight is Michigan out diving Indiana for him. Grody, playing like a man possessed, hitting the horse. No shot. No shot. Foul underneath on Jim Cruz. Number 45. That is the fourth team foul in Indiana. Michigan has six team fouls. After six fouls and a half, and a free throw comes up, not in the act of shooting. A team gets a free throw. They make the first one. They get the bonus. And it can be very important, that bonus situation. Hubbard way out, a little bit short. Look at Buckner up on the board. These modern players can really get up off the floor. Indiana. Undefeated this year, trailing by four. In for a real tussle tonight against the team they beat twice. Ken Benton. Benton's shot won't go. Loose ball, and they dive, and we'll have a jump ball at the Indiana free throw line. That'll be Quinn Buckner coming out. Kurt, this has to be perhaps the most difficult kind of game to officiate there is. These are two very physical teams, and so far, I really admire the way Mr. Brown and Mr. Wortman are using their whistle. They're calling an outstanding game. Well, they've been here before in these finals, officiating. Buckner beat Hubbard, and Hubbard says the toss wasn't correct. Johnny Wooden wants to throw the jump ball out of the rules. He doesn't think you can regulate it correctly. Benson hooking wide open. Hit Benson. 31 to 29, Michigan. Ten points for Kent Benson. Uh, he and May are carrying the load tonight for Indiana so far. As advertised, the two All-Americans. They're the only two off one team this year. Pass stolen. That was a bad pass by Grody trying to feed out in front. Uh, Indiana walks it down. They'll set up. They'll move within 25 feet. They roll. They pick. UCLA said it's the best picking team or screening team they played all year. There's Abernathy inside. He comes off the screen. He can't hit it. And underneath the foul, they're called on Scott May for pushing off. Number 42, the second foul on May. Five team fouls on Indiana. Kurt, we've been talking about Wayman Britt 
and his excellent defensive play. Wayman Britt, the captain of the Wolverines, and by the way, the only senior of the top ten players for the Mason Blue. His next two points will give him 1,000 in his career, so he can get it in the hole, too. 31-29, Michigan leading. They've led most of the way. Hubbard coming out in a high post. Ricky Green, Buckner on him, trying to go down the middle, and they helped him and took it away. Three on two. Buckner holds it up, though. Michigan got back well. Scott May being crowded by Cody. The Indiana fans yelling at May was fouled. There's Benson. Should have gone with his left hand that time. Fast break off to Robinson. He's covered, and the basket pounds. They just threw it up there on the three on two and hit it, and he's fouled. And Kurt, early in the break, there's even a more. Watch Ricky Green get away from the charge. That was an amazing move by Green. He had to have an extra set of eyes. Perfect pass. And look at this shot by Robinson. Hit in the head, and he kisses it high off the glass. Oh, my. The foul was on Buckner. The second foul, 16 fouls. Both clubs now have six fouls. Michigan ahead, 33-29. A chance for a three-point play by Johnny Robinson. Robinson has scored six points. Johnny Robinson, the best free throw shooter in this team, is at 84% this year. Doesn't quite get that one. Kent Benson cleared the board. Indiana's ball. Indiana behind by four. Look how tight Grody's on it. And he forced him in a mistake. Grody pressed Jim Cruz into a passing mistake. It's a marvelous game, isn't it? Really is. Quick, tenacious Michigan, brute power of Indiana, and really going at it. And the game being played at a furious pace. They're trying to split the post. Bill Hubbard jumps up above Buckner. There's Johnny Robinson faking Abernathy out, but Abernathy stayed right with him. Give Abernathy credit for a fine defensive play. He was faked out and recovered. Buckner brings it down for the Hoosiers. 33-29, Michigan. Two minutes. 14 seconds traveling on Abernathy. He very seldom makes a turnover mistake like that. Wolverine's ball. Let's check the turnovers. 10 against Michigan and 7 against Indiana. Again, if you're joining us late, fans, Bob Wilkerson, 6'7 guard starter for Indiana with three minutes gone in the game, had to leave with a mild concussion. Upper jump shot under pressure. Buckner on the rebound. Quinn Buckner. He has started as a freshman. Can, uh, Scott May shot won't go, and there's Ricky Green. Watch him on the gallop. There he goes. Foul. Call on Quinn Buckner. That's three on Buckner. Bobby Wilkerson, their other backcourt man, is in the locker room. Johnny Orr wanted to see who the foul's on, and that's the seventh foul on Indiana. But Ricky Green was fouled in the act of shooting. Ricky Green, six feet two, a junior from Chicago, hit 78 percent of his free throws. He has the touch. Now it's 34-29, Michigan. If he's six two, Kurt, you can out jump Kent Benson. Amazing leaper. 35-29, Michigan. And now, Michigan has a trap press on. And they nearly blew it. It's off to Buckner. They didn't go ahead and penetrate, Dick. They had a shot at it. They had two men back in the backboard of Michigan. But they held up. Michigan leading by six. Buckner to the basket. Underneath. Benson just get it away. Abernathy here to Jim Cruz. Buckner. No traveling. While he was up in the air, he got rid of it. Boy, I tell you, Michigan's really playing a cup. And a five-second rule call. Michigan is right with him. Button to button. Bobby Knight's defense is regarded as perhaps the toughest in the nation. But thus far in this first half, Michigan has played more tenaciously on defense than any team we've seen all year. Well, any club, Dick as quick as Michigan should. All it is, defense, is determination. And if you got the natural attributes that Michigan has, jumping ability and quickness, they should be an outstanding defensive team. And our first sub comes in here for the University of Michigan, Tom Bergen, 
A 6-9 center is in. Bill Hubbard's taken out, being given a breather, the freshman. Bergen is a sophomore from Mount Prospect, Illinois. Michigan leading 35-29. Scott May's not getting many openings. We're in the final minute. There's May, a double teaming. Michigan making Indiana work for those shots. Ken Benson goes up and can't get it. He was wide open and couldn't hit it. And it's Michigan ball. And coming in now for Indiana is Jim Wisman. Wisman, probably the best offensive player in the team outside of Scott May for a shooter. Bobby Knight just went over and delivered a right foot kick into Philadelphia Welcomes, the banner across the way. He wasn't happy at all. He looked for goaltending on that last shot. We have 35 seconds. Michigan will play for the last shot of the half. Now you're down to 30. Michigan's going to leave the court on top at halftime against undefeated Indiana. Michigan led by 10 at Bloomington, remember, in the game they eventually lost to the Hoosiers in overtime. There's a shot by Grody. Get Benson pulls it down. Wisman looking at the clock. They're four, three. May will have to get it off. It slipped that bit. And Michigan, at the end of the half, the underdog is six points ahead of Indiana, which has won 31 games in a row this year. Kurt Gowdy and Dick Enberg will be going to grandstand right after this message. Either to Ann Arbor or to Bloomington with a second half. Here's Kurt. All right, Kent Benson of Indiana control the tip to Scott May. Wisman is starting this half, 23. Set a cruise. Scott May, Wayman Britt right on him. Indiana opens a half, six points down. As Scott May's jumper is short. And it's over to Kent Benson underneath. He got a lucky rebound on that one. Came right back to him, and he took advantage of it. 35-31, Michigan. Kent Benson, the high of the game with 12 points. Michigan, same start as Brody. Rip, Ricky Green, Johnny Robinson, Bill Hubbard. Hubbard's shot no good. Scott May up there for the rebound. From behind, reaching over, Phil Hubbard. Jim Wisman beating Abernathy. Here's Benson, up he goes. A little bit off, Scott May. His foul. May pursued the follow and threw the shot up on his foul. Well, Scott May goes to the line now. Johnny Orr, just, he's, he's sort of calm on the bench, Dick. He doesn't get very excited. That young man with him, Bill Frader, he's a key to Michigan success. He would win on What's My Line, wouldn't he? Would you guess him to be a top young basketball coach? Well, he is a bright mind. Looks like a biology teacher. <laughs> Scott May's free throw is good. Scott May this year hits 79% of his free throws. Indiana shot over 50% field goals all year to set a school record. Now Indiana's right back in here. 10 points for Scott May, 35-33 Michigan. Indiana scored the opening four points of the second half. Well, that was important for the Hoosiers too, Kurt. There goes Green driving on Buckner. Hubbard lost the ball. He had inside position. Couldn't take the rebound. And now Indiana's taking momentary control. Wisdom with Brody on him. May. Double team. Somebody's got to be open when you're double team. Aaron Athey to May. May missing those 10 and 15 footers on several occasions tonight. He's usually deadly on them. Down court, Wayman Britt. They set up, they put Hubbard on a high post, the freshman center. A foul is called on Quinn Buckner. That's the third foul on Buckner. He's the only player in the court with three fouls. What an athlete he is. Quinn Buckner, it was our pleasure when he was just a freshman when we went to Red China, Kurt. And you could see then this kid had class written all over him, that he had leadership qualities, great defensive player, and an outstanding young man. You know, he and uh, Cruz and Abernathy, have played on 106 winning teams in four years in college. That's averaging better than 25 wins a year. Incredible record. Ready, 
Ricky Green out there moving. They'll try and screen over on the other side, away from the ball. Pass off to Hubbard. Hubbard lost control of it. And a foul's on Scott May, number 42. That is the third foul on Scott May. Second team foul this half on Indiana. Now, May and Buckner, three fouls apiece. They'll have to be careful. But the second half is already two minutes old, Kurt, and Michigan has failed to score thus far. 35-33 Michigan. Hubbard gets open, and a foul's on Kent Benson. Benson fouling Phil Hubbard, who shook open on the out-of-bounds screenplay. A good foul for Benson because Michigan had a sure hoop out of it. Now he's going to make Hubbard go to the line and shoot those two. And let's check this freshman here. Bill Hubbard from Canton, Ohio. He hit 59%. He's the poorest free throw shooter on a seasonal record in the court tonight here in the Spectrum in Philadelphia. Average 15 points a game. Good freshman here. Got the first one. He was the highest scoring freshman in the Big Ten. Eight points for him tonight. Get them both, 37, 33, Michigan. They have a press on. Butker was trapped. They got it away. Indiana sets up. Benson underneath the May and over his shoulder is Wayman Britt. I think the foul will be a common foul, I believe, before... Uh, May went up for the shot. So just as Benson's foul seemed to be a Wiseman at one end, so it is for Michigan at the other end of the court. That's the third foul on Wayman Britt and the second team foul on Michigan. Indiana has three team fouls. Short shot rebounded by the freshman Phil Hubbard. 37-33, Michigan ahead. They were the underdogs tonight, but they're leading. They've already lost twice to Indiana, but a tough game to steal by the center, Kent Benson of Indiana. Buckner brings it down to set it up. He runs the club right now. Kicked out. Britt nearly stole that as he stepped in front of Scott May. That'd be encouraging for every so-called little man, Britt Little at 6'2", to see a man able to compete with men a half foot taller with his quickness and desire. And jumping ability. Indiana trying to find an opening. There's May. Up he goes. And he passed his own shot in. Scott May hit the follow shot. 37-35. 12 points for Scott May. And Kurt, that was Indiana's passing game at its very best. They don't like to bounce the ball. They like to move, move, move it. And they like to move it in tight. Brody's shot. Good! Made away jumper. 39-35 Michigan. Brody now has six points. Indiana and White if you just joined us. Undefeated. They've had a remarkable record. There's four fouls now. Thirteen foul on Michigan and four on Wayman Britt. And we're going to have substitutes coming in here for Michigan. Tom Staten is coming in, number 23. He replaces Wayman Britt. And now Staten will probably cover Scott May, the All-American, the player of the year of the college ranks. And Staten isn't a senior as is Britt. He's only a freshman at 6'3". He has his hands full. 39-35. Michigan in the lead. Ken Benson. Oh, oh God, Kent Benson, that's Kent his Benson. That's his Sunday shot. That hooker is impossible to cover. He's 6'11. He uses his body to shield you off and throws it off the fingertips. Staten, the new player into the game. Benson batted it away. 39-37 Michigan, 15-35. The pace not quite as fast as it was. And that ball, there's a foul call on Michigan. Abernathy tried to pick it up, and it is on Johnny Robinson, number 45. The lights almost went out on Robinson. He took a pretty good shot. He has a little glassy look as he gets up. 
That's a second foul on Robinson. Here is the play again as Abernathy, ever alert, goes to the ball, two men on a collision course, and it was the same sort of injury almost to Robinson. It was the elbow of Abernathy that caught Robinson. Indiana's ball. They call him a garbage player, Dick, but that's no disrespect. It just means he's there to clean up everything. Boy, and he does it very well, Tom Abernathy. Jim Lisbon. Foul is on state and trying to cut him off again. Kirk. That will be in the bonus situation. That's the seventh, the sixth, fifth, fifth team foul. Foul is on number 23, Tom Stack, his first personal. Indiana has only three team fouls and five on Michigan. This could be critical. They get in these bonus situations. Wisman. Scott May inside. He hits it. And we've got a tie game. 15 minutes, 10 seconds to go. And Indiana's come back to tie it up. Ron Jelly. There's that shot again. Indiana. Watch what Scott May does with his other arm as he shoots. No, nothing wrong with that. Oh, it's Benson underneath. Look how he clears things out with that right arm. That's what Michigan was asking about. That's the moving industry under there. Indiana's coming out a little bit on him. Dick, look at that wisdom nearly stealing. They're coming out farther now on their man-to-man -man defense, crowding them more. Brody. Wisdom right on him. Brody hits the beauty. 41-39, Michigan. Steve Grody with eight points. That kid is playing the game of his life. Back is Indiana now. Behind by two. They were trailing by six and a half. Inside it goes to Scott May. Yeah. Oh. By Butner. It counts. Big traffic jam underneath. Here it is again. Benson feeding off. He had a pretty good shot himself. Goes underneath. Great Michigan defense. Bats it away. May. Kind of hands it off to Buckner, and Buckner gets two and a chance to give Indiana the lead. I'll have to say May has been everywhere on both ends of the court, pursuing caroms, rebounds, following, beating out, scoring. You're looking at a very complete basketball player tonight, number 42, Scott May. Win Buckner at the line. May literally handed off a possible three points to Buckner. Buckner's used to those handoffs. Butner is not a good free throw shooter, 47%. Bill Hubbard up on the rebound, Michigan back. Game tied, 41 all. Ricky Green feeding Johnny Robinson, and Robinson missed it and hit the follow. 43-41, Michigan. The game to decide the National Collegiate Championship. And there are a little over 14 minutes to play. Benson, 15 feet, got it, 43 all. Ken Benson, 16 points. Scott May has 14. All tied again. Pass to Grody. A reaching foul by Wisman. That's a foul that a coach doesn't like to see uh, just reaching out. You really can't accomplish much by it. And it's just a foolish foul. Four team fouls now on Indiana and six team fouls on Michigan. And we're going to have a timeout with a score tied 43-43. And now back to our studio. Ricky Green inbounds it to Phil Hubbard. 43 all. Green runs his ball club. He's been their high scorer in tournament play and high score for the season. State shot, a little bit short. He was shooting under pressure. Out of bounds off the hands of Grody. It'll be Indiana's ball. Indiana shot 55% in this half. Michigan 42%. Each team 43% for the game. Benson. Now they set up. They just pushed that other team right back up against the baseline. Scott May, little long. 
Abernathy underneath. And it's going to be Indiana's ball. Scott May will toss it in. Michigan led by six at the half. They're tied now. 13 minutes to play for the national championship. Benson off the pivot. He has it. 45 for Henry. Kent Benson, 18 points. Indiana in the lead. First time for the Hoosiers in front in the second half. Hubbard out on a high post to Ricky Green, jump shooting. Won't go, Benson up there to manhandle him on the rebound. And over here, Quinn Butker is holding his hands up, some kind of a play, you see. 21, there's made to Benson. He's got it. A holding on Phil Hubbard. Phil Hubbard committed the foul. Benson had position on him. That's the third on Hubbard. And the seventh team foul. Now watch Kent Benson. He gets position on Hubbard. Hubbard sees him going, so he reaches in and grabs him. And the foul before the shot as Benson had the easy two. Well, he's a lot to handle. That's trying to cover a garage door. One and one now for Kent Benson. He hits the front end. He gets the bonus free throw. Kent Benson, all academic Big Ten player. Oh, up on the board. It was Bill Hubbard to clear the rebound. Down to Ricky Green. That was a big miss for Indiana. He had the easy two and couldn't make the front end of the bonus. 45-43 Indiana. There's a snake away. Butler in. Easy layup. Butler. 47-43. Four point lead now for Indiana. They have outscored Michigan 10 points in this half. And no. Dayton up on a follow, no, up again. Oh. And holding. Backing ball on Ken Benson. Boy, how that youngster state hung up there. Look at this activity. Maybe it isn't a contact sport, but it surely is a collision sport. Look at that state in a little ballet. He's short on the shot. Players going to the court. There's a great block by Benson, but a foul is called. Wonder if we could see that one more time. It might have been with a body, and we're at the other end of the court. Bobby Knight thought it was a clean block. It did appear that Benson had his hand on top of the ball, might have gotten him with a body, although the signal by Herb Brown was he got him on the hand. Tom Staten, just a freshman from Ferndale, Michigan. At the line. Playing in place for Wayman Britt, who had four fouls. Staten has it. 47-44. He was shot in the act of shooting. Benson, by the way, has only two personals. And the freshman hit them both. And now coming in is Dave Baxter. Very quick. He replaces Staten. Wayman Britt's in. And Grody goes out. This Baxter is just about as swift as Ricky Green. And they go to the press. Down it goes to Scott May. So Michigan has some real speed in there now. The best speed on their club. Wisman outside. He could hit. Short with it. He didn't take enough time. Here's Ricky Green on the gallop. Roll away, penetrating. The basket counts. And a foul. Basket is good. Foul may be on Green for charging. Here's the speed of Green. He saw a little daylight. He goes around Benson here with a little crossover, then darts inside, but the position by Abernathy, and the foul to Green. Oh, well, we're tied up again, 47 all. Bobby Knight back to the bench. Excuse me, it was Buckner who had position underneath, and he'll shoot one and one at the other end. Again, remember, not been outstanding at the free throw line, but he hit that one. Now he'll get the bonus shot. Quinn Buckner playing his last game in a Hoosier uniform. Brilliant career. Nine points tonight. Ten points. And Indiana's ahead 49-47. Michigan's ball. Dave Baxter with it. He can move. Look at him. Very clever dribbler. He's a left-hander. Wayman Britt playing with four fouls. Green gets around, jumper, he hits the 49-0. Oh. 
Ricky Green, and they cleared out for him and gave him room as he rolled off the screen. 14 points for little Ricky Green. High game. Scott made a Benson. Benson up and has it. The pass was in the Scott May. Benson has 20 points, and they're not stopping him inside. 51-49 Indiana. Ten minutes, 45 seconds to play. Green. They leave him open. Abernathy pushed off. Fouls on Abernathy. Herb Brown smiling at him. I saw you. You know, it's an interesting story. Notre Dame is uh, the place where Tom Abernathy works during the summer. He lives right near the Notre Dame campus. The Irish didn't seem to be interested in him, so he went down to Indiana. He fought to make the starting team, and as a senior, he's made it and has been a great contributor to the Hoosiers' success. All right, 16 fouls now on Indiana. So they'll both be in bonus situations. On fouls coming up. Indiana ahead, 51 to 49. Michigan's ball. That's Johnny Robinson passing inside to Hubbard. Game is tied, 51 all. Freshman Phil Hubbard has 10 points. And 10 minutes left, an even ball game. Win Buckner. There's Scott May up with a jumper. He's got it, 53-51. Scott May with 16 points. Baxter. Traveling call, he shuffled on his drive. Johnny Robinson. And now coming in for Indiana is the freshman, Rich Bellavisha. A uh, hefty freshman who loves to play defense. Abernathy goes out and gets a hand. So a freshman in. I'm very impressed by the number of freshmen we're seeing here in the final four. Look at how good they are. Of course, they're not freshmen right now. They played a whole season. They're really sophomores and experience. Malavicious is up, and the freshman hits his first shot. 55-51. Indiana leading. Trying to cap off an undefeated season by winning a national title. It's only been done six times before. Four times by UCLA, once by San Francisco, and once by North Carolina. So they going through a basketball season undefeated. Give another Baxter up. On the rebound, Hubbard Benson blocks the shot, and Jim Brisbane has it. Great block by Kent Benson. Indiana the has biggest, the ball. Biggest play of the game, turn right there. 845 and crashing to the floor. Herb Brown coming over to the score table, holding. Foul's on number 35, Phil Hubbard. Phil Hubbard commits the foul. Four on the freshman center of Michigan. One and one, one coming up. Got a slick spot on the floor. It was 35-29, Michigan at half time. Watch this block, Dick, right, by Ken that. Benson. There's Benson. Look at the timing. The rebound coming out. Hubbard goes up. Looks as if he might have two. Beautiful timing by Benson. Gets it to Wisman and sends Indiana to the other end. You know, some players, when they block a shot, slap it out of bounds. The way to do it is keep it in play. You got a chance of recovery. Benson makes it 56-51 and has a bonus shot. Kent Benson, 21 points in the game. This is the Hoosiers' biggest lead. Up goes the freshman, Phil Hubbard, to clear the rebound. Dave Baxter. Look at him, boy, in the move. Got that reverse dribble. Wayman Britt. Hubbard. Ball's out of bounds, and it's off Quinn Buckner. Kurt, that's what they call letting him play, I guess. <laughs> A uh, timeout is being called. Bobby Knight said, what? <laughs> timeout, and our score of the national championship game with 8.24. Michigan's ball. 
And the Johnny Robinson. Ken Benson up to clear the board. 56-51, Indiana ahead. Just over eight minutes remaining. There's a steal by Ricky Green. All the way. Ricky Green. Very quick hands on him. Wisman got careless with that ball. 56-53, Indiana. Big bucket for the Wolverines. If Indiana scores there, they're on top by seven. And 16 points for Ricky Green. He has to be on this all-tournament team. I have to say Marcus Johnson. Benson, Bradley, and Scott made Kent Benson. Makes it 58-53. 23 points for Kent Benson. And the Big Ten will have a look at him again next year. He's just a junior. Wayne and Britt. Ricky Green on his drive. Bunker on him. A foul. Is on number 35, Hubbard. That's five on him. The freshman is fouled out. On the floor is Ricky Green. Johnny Orr is unhappy, yelling at the official over there. Bill Hubbard's out, and Johnny Orr, the Michigan Gulf, is unhappy. Bill Hubbard, a freshman, scored 10 points. He's out of the game. The strength and size of Ken Benson finally wore it down. Johnny Orr, admittedly, will tell you he was nearly fired four years ago. And at one stage of his career, he quit coaching basketball to go into the insurance business. And he says, when I was coaching at Massachusetts, and they used to call and invite my wife and I to go to dinner on Saturday night when we were playing games, I decided it was time to get out. Nobody cares. And they care about him now. And I say his real future is ahead of him. Butner makes it 59-53. Up on the rebound is Johnny Robinson. Tom Bergen. Raymond Britt. A six-point lead for undefeated Indiana. Shot by Raymond Britt. It is good. 59-55. That's 1,000 points in his Michigan career. A four-point lead for Indiana. Scott May driving. May has it. 51, 55. 18 points for Scott May. Ian Benson doing it when they have to in the title game. Underneath. Whoa! Won't go. And Grody. Foul underneath. Lipping the rim. The foul is on Jim Wisman. Johnny Orr at 48. He did a nice little pirouette. He just followed that ball with his body. Using body English, he just did a nice little turn himself, but he couldn't get it to fall in. Now well, he still has that All-American that void ability. Brody shooting two. And coming in now is uh, Joel Thompson from Michigan replacing Johnny Robinson. Seven, 61 56 Indiana. Time remaining 643. Indiana's won 62 of its last 63 games. 61 57. Bella Vicious stolen by Wayman Britt. Bangs it right over to Quinn Buckner though. There's Benson. Foul is called on the new player into the game, Tom Bergen. Bergen is sophomore. Fouls Ken Benson. And Abernathy's coming back in. Abernathy replaces the freshman, Valadicious. Give him a hand. Of course, they're, they're giving him a hand of encouragement for the future. He has three more years. He's building the Bobby Knight mold, isn't he? Just like a linebacker in football. For 34, Richard Kent Benson now has 24 points. 62-57, Indiana. Devout religious man. Member of the fellowship of Christian athletes, 63-57. Six-point lead for Indiana. 6.25 to go. 54. Fouls on Kent Benson. 
fouling Steve Grody. Three on Kent Benson. You know, Kurt, Bobby Knight had an interesting point yesterday at the press conference. Some people criticize him because he's up and down, yells a lot on the bench. But Knight said, you know, that's my job. And you watch my players, you'll never see them yell at officials or act in a, a manner that is uh, not kindly to my so that's my job and boy you watch the kids and he's absolutely right he that's part of his role and he does it well and his players do their part well you know he uh, dick he's been very quiet during the tournament the uh been placid he's sitting on the bench and uh, sometimes he's known as Tex bad boy but his uh behavior during the ncaa tournament is hardly always sitting there 63-59, four-point lead for Indiana. Michigan cuts it down again. The trap zone all-court press, it goes to Scott May. That's the pass that'll beat that trap press. Benson inside on Bergen. Up it goes, he's short with it. Scott May underneath. Oh, look at that shot. That is phenomenal. He was underneath the basket. There was no way to hit the backboard, and he still threw it in. 20 points for Scott May. Brody trying to whirl the feet off, fumble around. Up there is Tom Abernathy. Time remaining, 5 minutes 40 seconds. Indiana with a six-point lead. Buckner didn't want to penetrate. I look for Indiana going to a semi-stall here pretty soon. Abernathy off to Buckner. Now this defies the law of physics. Here's the last basket by Scott May. Michigan had the ball. It comes to May. Now he's directly under the basket. So he has to throw it straight up in the air and somehow gets it down through. Mm -mm. The, you know, the All-Americans for Indiana down the stretch here in the second half, May and Benson. I can't imagine players and their great ball at any way playing any better. They're making seemingly every shot. Right, Benson has 25 points. May has 20. They both play well at both ends of the court. Quinn Buckner, who had a slump in mid-season, but has finished the season in brilliant fashion. It's the free throw, and Indiana now has a seven-point lead. Indiana just grinds you down. They're so strong physically. Indiana now leading 67-59. 13 points for Quinn Buckner. He's had an excellent postseason tournament for the Hoosiers. Now Michigan has to go to work quickly. Up for the shot is Bergen. Bergen's shot won't go. Look at Buckner up on the rebound. He's been outstanding on the board. Remember Indiana lost Bobby Wilkerson with an injury early in the game. Their top jumper with a concussion. Buckner coming off. Feeding underneath. Abernathy blew the layup. He follows and he fouled. Abernathy was held as he went back up. The foul is going to be called on Wayman Britt, and that's all for him. He's fouled out. Five on Wayman Britt, a senior, his last game, finishing a brilliant career at the University of Michigan. But with him goes really the game for Michigan. It would be an impossibility now almost for Michigan to win with two of its great starters, Britt and Hubbard, on the bench. Two starters are gone for Michigan. Indiana begins its celebration. Five minutes left. Hoosier 67, Wolverines 59. He has a tendon problem in his left wrist and will have surgery when the season is over. Abernathy playing his last game for Indiana makes it 68 59. Abernathy averaging 10 points a game all year. But invaluable defense feeding off there when they need him. Now it's a 10 point lead for Indiana. And they start to stretch it out again. They just grind you down. Heard it's interesting. Michigan has not had one fast break field goal the second half. I notice how they help each other. Buckner left the weak side. Slid all the way across to stop that play, and traveling was called. And it was Buckner leaving his man to come over and help out that forced it. They have the all-court trap on. Here it is to Buckner. The way to handle it against it. Buckner penetrating. Now we have four minutes and 35 seconds to go. A 10-point lead into Abernathy. He hits the basket. Oh. 
51. They're showing the class of a champion now. 71-59. Indiana's getting better and better as the game goes along. Grody whirling in. Is fouled by Wisman. Jim Wisman. You know, there's something about an unbeaten champion in any sport, Kurt, and you've seen them in, in, in all phases of sport. And it's been a, a thrill to watch Bobby Knight's team this year. They've been the best team all year, and they've shown why they're the best this second half. They're beating an outstanding underdog team, and they're doing it with so much precision. Well, we've had some outstanding teams in the history of college basketball over two-year stretches. Oklahoma State, 45-46. Adolph Rupp's two great Kentucky teams in a row. Bill Russell's Casey Jones, the San Francisco teams, lost only one game two years in a row. UCLA had a stretch of seven years in a row, losing only four games. And now Indiana has lost only one game in the last two years. And let's not forget Ed Chucker, Cincinnati, two straight Two years champions. in a row. They beat Ohio State that one year. Now they're in their delay game. They'll go for the basket if they get a good shot, but... Their idea now is to freeze the national title away. With less than four minutes to go, a 12-point lead for Indiana. For Michigan, it's between a rock and a hard place. Michigan basketball to them before the days of Bill Button and Cassie Russell used to be the sport they waited for until football rolled around again. Now, with only one senior on this team. I wouldn't doubt that Michigan will be the favorite to win the Big Ten last year when the uh, next year when the season opens, Dick. Well, if Johnny Orr can get himself one big center, he can move Hubbard to that forward spot that'll be vacated by Wayman Britt, and you've got a tremendous team. And uh, apparently they're after a couple of big men. Indiana has already indicated they've had its best recruiting year in many, many seasons, but they have four starting seniors to replace. Alan Hardy from into the game. Scott May has 21 points. Capping off probably the greatest career an Indiana player has ever had. With an all-time performance for him when it counted. 22 points for Scott May. Well, they'll remember him along with Don Schlund and Bobby Leonard from Branch McCracken's championship team of 1953. 73-59 Indiana. Great shot hit by Tom Staten. 73-61. The press is on. Benson helping out. Double trap and throws it away. Driving a Staten. And a block has been called. <laughs> charging on Michigan. I tell you, these two teams have or been on, be on May. It may be on May. It Let's is see. on May, I believe, Kurt. They've been on the floor more than Muhammad Ali's opponents this <laughs> past couple of years. This is a collision course. Somebody's going to go down, that's for sure. That state looks like he's going to climb the Empire State Building. And May says, why me? Oh, <laughs> uh, Staten missed the first free throw. 73-61 Indiana, 3.30 to go. It's a very bright student, Kurt. He wants to enter law or ministry after his education. Ah, 73-62. We'll see what the Indiana does against this zone trap left. Abernathy couldn't get it in. He want to call a timeout. That's a smart move. When you have trouble getting it in like that, call a time. They got timeouts left. So now you get yourself reorganized. And with the 11-point lead now, Indiana wants to play it very safe. Kurt, it's been a great year for college basketball, and we're happy that NBC will be back again next year with even expanded coverage of this Great collegiate sport, the excitement, the enthusiasm of the fans, uh, the great effort that we've seen tonight exemplified in this final game, and we're going to be back with you again sometime late next November with more. Our thanks to the NCAA, Walter Byers, Tom Jernstad, and Dave Kaywood of the NCAA, Stan Watts, the chairman of the basketball committee, no finer man anywhere, Ernie Cassell, athletic director of Temple University, the host of this year's tournament, and for all the members of the basketball committee. They Let's eavesdrop Johnny Orr's final words, perhaps, to this Michigan team. Well, actually, it's his assistant, Bill Frieder, is doing the talking now. Well, they're a real shot. Three and a half minutes to go. They've got to go out and grab about three or four quick steals, convert. He was either saying press four or press more. And, of course, uh, 
with 11 point deficit and only three minutes 31 seconds left that sign seems to be the real truth of the night I don't know whether Michigan can pull the miracle comeback but if they don't they have really been the Cinderella team of this tournament and of the season famous referee Jim Enright who refereed for years in the Big Ten told me this morning used to be called days when there would be a few hundred people at a Michigan game look at that they've got the ball back state and shot is good 73 64 and Indiana is uh, giving the ball away on this press Michigan's really bothering them there's a foul on Michigan Bobby Knight thought that might be going the other way but in Irv Brown's defense Kurt he has just had two similar calls and he's called them consistently the other one went remember Scott May went flying this time it was Ricky Green and any coach in the world will tell you all I want is consistency when I boil it all down and Irv Brown has just given both coaches that third foul on a little Ricky Green this press has been very effective the last two or three minutes they're so quick and they should be a good pressing team at the line now is Jim Wisman. And it's Michigan ball. Down they come. Ricky Green on the move. Penetrating, laying it up. A battle on the rebound. Quinn Buckner is fouled by Steve Grody. Buckner has been magnificent on the backboards for a backcourt man tonight. Oh, he's so strong, leaps so well. He, as I recall uh, from my physiology days, the man who had the perfect athletic build, Kurt, was called a mesomorph. There it is, right there. He's got the perfect athletic structure. A uh, safety man in college football, a backcourt man in college basketball, finally had to give up trying to combine two sports. It's almost impossible anymore with the overlap of season. Just too much for him. 74-64, Indiana University. Quinn Buckner going out in glory. One of his best games of the season. And it counted most. Ricky Green again. The length of the court. Won't go for him as Scott May rebounded. May off to Buckner. Buckner with a trap against him. Dangerous pass there across court. Wisman double team. Off to May. Time remaining, 250. Indiana ahead by 10. Bring it out. Michigan has to go after him. And Indiana now is down to 235 to go. Brody took it away, whipped it to Ricky Green. Green, the foul is called on Wisman. Wisman fouling Ricky Green. Four on Wisman. You know, Two minutes, Wisman, 33 seconds remaining. Kurt Wisman was the kid, remember the picture in the paper after the last Indiana-Michigan game that had Bobby Knight kind of tearing at his uh, jersey and pulling him into the bench, and it caused some sure. But what's interesting is Wisman and his mother said Bobby Knight did the right thing. I expected that. I played poorly, and they weren't upset, but the rest of the country seemed to. Well, they, uh, some of the fans get upset with Bobby Knight, except his players don't. They defend him. Uh, not only defend him, but intensely loyal to him. Love him. 74-65. You have to. It shows out there in the court. He has complete command of this ball club. And they're really motivated. Buckner, the Wisman. Foul is on Grody. We pause briefly for station identification. This is the NBC Television Network. Foul's number 30, Steve Grody. His fourth personal. Kurt Gowdy and Dick Enberg again here at the Spectrum. That's four fouls on Grody. Dave Baxter is coming in. And Indiana hit by eight with two minutes and 22 seconds to go. Grody gets a hand from the Michigan fans. I tell you what, if we go to war again, I want him on my side. I'll take him in any sport. Wisdom makes it 75-66, Indiana. Indiana frustrated last year, lost only one game, that was to Kentucky in the Eastern Regionals. Scott May had a broken arm, was playing with an injury. Kent Benson up for the rebound, down it goes to Abernathy, here it is to Scott May, May has the layup. 77, 78-66 Indiana. May has 24 points, Benson has 25, the two All-Americans. Uh, poured it on tonight. Buckner, the Indiana fans roaring in the background. 
They smell the national crown now. A minute 50 to play. Butker underneath. Away they go. 80 to 66. Indiana on top by 14. They're demoralizing Michigan now. Just wear you down. They're winning in Look style. Look Scott May. They're winning in style is right. Going away. And they're winning without one of their starting guards. Bobby Wilkerson. There goes good block there. By Hardy. Bobby Wilkerson received a brain concussion early in the game and is now in Temple Hospital. He's only 35 years old. Is he the youngest ever to win the NCAA championship? He's the first ever play in one and win one as a coach. Played in uh, one at Ohio State under Fred Taylor. Foul is on Quinn Buckner. With a minute 14, Bobby Knight didn't like that call. Kurt, the Hoosiers of Indiana, you know, in some of their sports, uh, football, it's been depressing for them in Bloomington, and you know how important that is to any collegiate program. They've always loved their basketball. They call it Hoosier hysteria. Bobby Knight has brought them maniacally, their fans, to follow them, and he's had the roughest road perhaps any team has had to a national championship, and what an effort it's been. And this Michigan team, true to its class, playing them right down to the final gun. Well, Knight finished third. His second year at Indiana in 73, and he's about to win it now with a minute and five seconds to go. Buckner missed the drive. Out of bounds, Michigan ball. Well, that's 6'6 Hardy, the freshman can leave, can't he? All right, here's Grody back in the game. But Knight might take Benson and May out and let them get the standing ovation from their fans, but evidently he's going with them all the way. Hardy fires. Scott May, look at him, play both ends of the court. The All-American looks down. And the foul's on Dave Baxter. Now I think Knight's going to substitute and get uh, his All-Americans out. Bobby Knight hugging Quinn Buckner. That's his wife. I got chilled all the way down to my shoes. It wouldn't have mattered who won. This is what it's all about, folks. It starts October 15th every year, and one team gets to enjoy this. What he's dreamed about. May and Indiana now has a 15-point lead. They're capping off an undefeated season. Radford for Abernathy. And for senior Tom Abernathy. The next man they take out will be Scott May. May's at the line, though. He scored 25 points tonight, and there's 26 for him. And Bobby Knight now goes to the bench to get another player. 40 seconds to go in the game. 82-66 Indiana. Hardy, Scott. 82-68, Indiana. Here's Scott May down court. We'll be back here. I have to, there's a foul on Dave Baxter. Foul's on Baxter. Scott May is going out. There's the only defined happiness you're looking at. It. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we do remind you we have an award for the Scott May winding up the greatest career in the history of an Indiana basketball player. Played perhaps his one of his greatest games of all time in the national title game. Bye. 
Bobby Knight's wife. New athletic director Paul Dietzel in front of her. Twelve seconds to go. And now senior Jim Cruz goes out. They're going to wind up with 32 wins in a row. Down to Wayne Rathbone. One second. The basket is good. And Indiana is the national champion going away. They trail by six points in the half. They came through with a tremendous second half and defeat Michigan even worse than many people thought. They thought it would be a very tough game, but Indiana maybe at the end of the year was even better than they were during the entire season. The final score, Indiana, the new national champs, 86, and Michigan, 68. We'll be right back after this message. 